Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today we're gonna install this custom water loop inside this uh, PCO11 dynamic white case. Uh, we're gonna switch out the AIO and install this Micro Center uh, water cooled kit. Now, disclaimer I've never built a water cooled machine before, but this kit includes a custom gesture plate, CPU and GPU water blocks, three RGB fans, 360mm radiator. Uh, all the necessary fittings and of course the 011 dynamic black case with the pre-bent and pre-cut tubes all ready to go so I had to pick it up for $500 only thing is I didn't want the black case so what I did is I took all the components out and switched it all with my current white case at the time Microsoft said uh, or EK also said that they were not going to sell this distribution plate I think as of late 2019 they now have this on sale so um, it fits the original Dynamic 011 uh, perfectly on the front side. And even if they did sell the plate back then, uh, it would have cost around $200 just for the plate alone. That's without the tubes, without the fittings. Um, and you're looking at around, I think around 700 for this whole kit. If you bought it uh, sold separately and that's not including the time, it would take you to be uh, cut and bend the tubes yourself. So. This does save you a lot of time and money if you want to go this route. Here you'll see what the kit includes. Like I said before, the water blocks, the tubes, all the cables, uh, even the GPU back plate, uh, the EK plate, and thermal pads, all the RGB cables. Um, this is a three pin, not the four pin. And not to mention the PSU jumper bridge tool. And let's get started with the deinstallation of my current build. We're going to remove the flow, the thermal take flow ring all in one, uh, 360 rad, and the nine fans. Um, as you'll see, only eight will be able to be installed uh, after the distro plate is installed in the front because the pump gets in the way of one of the fans. Uh, no big deal there, but. Just something to look out for. One thing to note about RGB ecosystems is that um, before I had two thermal take controllers uh, controlling 10 devices, which were the nine fans and the CPU water block. Now we're only going to have eight fans controlled by a thermal take uh, RGB software, and ASUS will control the CPU and GPU water blocks uh, since their LED uh, cables will go straight to the motherboard. Here you'll see the deconstruction of the RTX 2080 ASUS uh, Turbo, I believe, blower style card. This was the only card uh, that was non-referenced that would fit this water block that was included in the kit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the installation of the tubes, um, but it is really simple. There's only six tubes uh, and they all um, have a place, so you can't really mix them up and you secure them down with the fittings and you're really just good to go from there. As a leak test, we used distilled water and put down plastic since we uh, were low on paper towels and we had no problems on our first go around. So we just proceeded to use the EK cryo fuel and this one liter bottle uh, was the navy blue uh, cryo fuel and all one liter of it fit perfectly in this distro plate and loop. And now let's talk dollars and cents. Um, technically this build cost around 2300 if we want to consider today's prices. Uh, I built this machine in late 2018, early 2019 for much more, but you could really build this machine for less than 2000 if you went with something like 16 gigs of RAM instead of 32, maybe 9600K instead of 8700K. Uh, you know, kept their fans instead of the Thermaltake fans and so on. And here's the finished product. So to sum things up, when you consider all the discounts that Micro Center offers when you bundle, say a CPU, a motherboard, and then considering this uh, kit um, with Lee and Lee and EK, you really can't go wrong. Uh, it's really the most cost effective bang for your buck deal uh, when in terms of water cooling. Not to mention if it's your first time like me where you're just to 
scare to uh, bend and cut and have a system leak. Um, and I've had this machine for over a year now and have had no issues, no gunks, no leaking, um, quiet as a mouse. And you can hear more of the um, GPU coil whine than you can with uh, the fans and anything else. I don't even hear the pump at all. So if you have any questions or uh, comments, let me know. For my next build, I'll be setting up a Dynamic XL white with uh, the 3900X, all, all air-cooled. Uh, and then a part two of that will be a water-cooled version as well. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.